the matches already. But the, there's a there's a. Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buzz and Suds. It's not a Buzz and Suds night without a stout. We gotta have a stout. And I got a good one here. So, like I said, you heard, you've already watched my video on Aslan. Great place. When I went to pick up cans of the IPA, guess what they had to, to buy? A barrel aged stout. A barrel aged stout. This one's called Alexandria. It is a 16.5% barrel aged imperial stout conditioned on peanut butter, marshmallows, and bananas. Mm. Um, I don't know the size of it. Let's see. It's about, um, I don't know, uh, less than 20, right? Yeah. So maybe like a 16 ounce, uh, okay. 16, 17 ounce, six, maybe one of those 16.9. It's, it's kind of a weird shape bottle. Yeah, there. but this one I picked up at the Alexandria location, uh, Alexandria, Virginia. Um, oh, 500 milliliters, 500. Yeah, yeah, okay. So um, it was funny because this was the first release they had. Uh, these were $30 uh, a bottle. It was two per person. I had my wife in the car and I decided not to have her come in to get this. Oh. Mistakes were made. Oh well. Uh, because I didn't know. I, I, I'm not a, like the banana is good, but I didn't want some you know weird thin banana stout, and I just wasn't sure. And I didn't read the barrel age part either. That might have sent me over <laughs> and the thirty dollars. But anyway, so when I got the two, and there was no check in. It was a new. They didn't have samples of it. No one had checked it in. Like I had no clue about this beer. Uh, but then as I, you know, was going throughout my trip, I you went to Virginia Beach after this and I was looking and the numbers started going up and up and everyone checked in. Amazing, amazing. The only critique was no bananas. And I was like, that's not a, that's critique. Not a problem. That's, <laughs> they should be subtle in any way. So uh, mistakes were made. I only got two bottles. I shared one uh, with, uh, with some friends in a share and now we're gonna do one for Buzz and Suds. Buzz and Suds. Buzz and Suds. It's darkness. I mean, it is black. It's thick, yeah. And it has that tan head, quarter has dissipated. Let's get the mm. nose. Oh, it smells like peanut butter. It smells like peanut butter, which is funny because the other day I didn't smell as much peanut butter. It smelled more like chocolate fudge the other day when I had, I just had like a three ounce pour. I was sharing with a bunch of people. And it smells like- But this smells like peanut butter. And peanut butter. Yeah. I mean, huge peanut butter. I kind of got this the first time I had it with those three ounce. Like I said, mm -hmm. it was generic nuttiness. Um, couldn't really tell for sure. And it was funny. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the people I was drinking with said he thought it was hazelnuts. Um, someone else said just a kind of a generic nuttiness. But I think it smells like peanut butter. It smells like peanut butter. Straight up peanut butter. Cheers. 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 Oh, man. Oh, that is good. So I don't know if I could pick banana out, but no. I could get peanut butter and fudgy chocolate yeah. and sweetness, which I would have a hard time. Typically the marshmallow flavor is just vanilla, yeah. um, but you could get that from the barrel agent too, but it's sweet peanut butter and chocolate to me. Mm. Uh, it is. really good. It's that thick, oily, like what we call that umami type flavor mm. I get as well. It's really sweet. It's got that fudgy chocolate. And it definitely has this nuttiness. I think it comes through as peanut butter, but yeah, I think um, so too. It's that it, yeah, buttery. It, it it comes through as that, and not and more so than the generic nuttiness I was talking about when I had a smaller pour. Mm. You know, when I aerate it, I feel like I get something that could be banana, but it, it's very subtle. Yeah, um, and I'd I'd be hard pressed to say for sure it was banana, but I mean I get a little something. Um, mm. But with or without it, I could care less because yeah. the rest of it is so good. Uh, barrel character. Uh, it's hard to say, except that it is a little boozy, but 16.5, I mean, you expect that. Um, but yeah. it's more complex than just a typical peanut butter, chocolate, vanilla stout. Yeah. And there's something else there. It's hard there to is. pin down, though. There was a little heat I was getting. I was really looking for it there. I get just kind of that nice little burn on down. Um, I think it drinks less than 16.5 percent i'd agree but it's yeah. still it still is heavy i mean it's still it's still you know you're up in the double digits you yeah. know you, i think you would probably go with your normal range of an imperial stout of 12 13 mm -hmm. you know 11 12 13 percent something like that um i wouldn't go those big numbers like this is this is actually um but i really like it because i like mm -hmm. the sweet i like that i mean it's it's not i mean it's not super chewy but it is thick you know it's velvety silky um Peanut butter is really good. I will say this: this is drinking differently with than I had just you know when I had a, oh, yeah? two or three ounces. Okay, but I still love it. It's just it's different. Better or worse? Uh, I'm getting more things, like you said, complex. Okay. So I'm getting more peanut butter this time. The barrel character is a little different. I think I, I thought I actually got to pick up on some bourbon and characters before. Um, we're now the peanut butter standing out. 
but I'm not going to chug this. I will sit and <laughs> sip and talk, and so it could it could change over time. Just know that you know this one's complex. Um, it, it'd be interesting to see if they end up doing this one again. Um, if they try to go for more banana or whatever, I, I'm not <laughs> sure if they would, because I, I think it's wonderful. Even though they're advertising bananas, you don't really get them, or maybe just a hint of something. Um, it's still wonderful. It's a very well-made barrel aged imperial stout. So if you if you just said this is a peanut butter barrel aged stout, mm. this would be one of the best I've had. Oh yeah. Um, you know the imperial nut case uh, is mm -hmm. one of the ones I've like the Listerman. That's one of my favorites. But this is yeah, this is a step yeah. above that. Yeah. This is really good. Thanks for getting it. Yeah, I think I've been given the, or I gave this a four seven five. It's in that range. It's like yeah. four five four seven five range. Um, I'll just I'll stick with four seven five. I really like it. Yeah, I'm gonna go you know four six six or yeah, four six kind of seven. In kind of in between. It's it's close. It's yeah, it's so right close. in that range. I think. Um, and the only thing I guess I would really knock it is I, I would like to have a little banana since it mm -hmm. says it's on there yeah. and a little barrel character, a little more. Um, but I mean, it's still a phenomenal beer. Yeah, it's worth getting. So much more peanut butter this time around. Um, but I'm really enjoying this one. Can't wait to sip on a little more. So do you know when they sold out or how quick? I'm sure it sold out by now, but how quickly did they sell mm -hmm. out? I don't know. Probably the same day. I, I, would bet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how sure many bottles they had. Like I said, I went for the cans of Master Karate. They didn't like on their on their social media. They didn't advertise um, this beer or the uh, and the and and that sour I had. Um, it was like a one six one two three. It is. It was just a number. So um, like a test batch or something. Yeah, but they had that on tap, and um, it was really good, really fruity, uh, not not too tart, not too sour. Um, and like I said, it was peanut on the wire barrels and conditioned on pop off roots, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't know anything about other than I googled a picture of them to see what they look like. <laughs> uh, but it was it was good. So. They make really, really good. They, they, they take pride in what they do and make really good beer. Everything they put out that I've had has been solid. Yeah. Well, thanks for bringing it. Yep. Great. Anything else? Mm -mm. As always, guys, if you can agree, love, love the you have. Thanks.